Have you ever been on a golf course when the sun burns dew off the grass? With only the birds, the trees, and you, and maybe someone who's making sure your sanctuary is safe? For golfers, that's a rare moment. We love golf because it's the closest thing there is for a metaphor for life. Keep your head down, move forward, work with a solid foundation, and keep a good grip on things. But here's my confession. The moments after a round are sometimes more enjoyable than the shots hit during it. I'm Adam Stanley, and this is Charting the Course. Canmore, Kananaskis. About an hour from Calgary sits Canada's most picturesque area for mountain golf. And as I discovered, much more than that. This is Lisa Longball Vluswick. Lisa, a former school teacher, is an eight time Canadian long drive champion and now a motivational speaker and golf instructor. We met at Kananaskis Country Golf Course, a 36 hole spot that boasts incredible 360 degree mountain views at its two courses, Mount Kidd and Mount Lorette. So Lisa, I've had the privilege to play some spectacular golf courses here in the Canmore, Kananaskis area, but what is it really that makes these golf courses so special? Number one, I have to say, it's the views. These views are truly stunning. I've I traveled all over the world, played famous golf courses, and my favorite courses are right here in the Canmore, Kananaskis region because you can't beat these views anywhere in the world. I made the mistake of challenging Lisa to a long drive contest, and let's just say it didn't go so well. Put right? two cheeks into oh, yeah. it, two <laughs> cheeks into it. Okay. <laughs> all right. Is that gonna come back in the fairway? Uh, it just might, it you may, know. It may have. Oh, that, that you got the tourist have. bounce. I, I the like tour. it, you got the all tourist right. bounce. Well, that was oh, roasted. Around. It's drawing. That was roasted. It really was, actually. Oh, I like it. Oh, high draw. Okay, Lisa, so you, absolutely outdrove me here, like no contest. Well, you know what? Boom! This is what it's gonna look like! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow, now that, that was a celebration, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know how we're gonna top that. Oh, but, I like it. Oh, safety Sam in the middle of the green. Oh, that's, that's how you play. That's gonna kiss it. Oh, that's on. Watch this. <laughs> You should do a log roll. You should totally do a log roll. Just a roll. little, a little tuck down the hill. <laughs> but as the saying goes, drive for show and putt for dough. Oh, I, oh. Is that gonna come back now this way? I think it is. A double breaker, stop it! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> oh, come on! Okay, so you beat you... me on the drive. I got you on the putt. Hey, we'd be a heck one of a one. scramble team. I think we would be. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> nice one, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You'll be impressed at the playability and fun factor at Kananaskis, especially after an epic flood in 2013 closed the entire facility. Tell me a little bit more about the recovery effort, because now, five years on, the golf course totally closed, but it looks undeniably spectacular. Oh, Adam, it was 2013 in June. What happened, it was a really aggressive flow and the river broke through the golf course. And if you, it was crazy. If you look at the pictures online, you'll see that the fairway was hanging like floppy, soggy pancakes Oof. over the edge. And <laughs> What a and, visual. And, right? Yeah. And then they've gone from that to, to look at this eight years later. Like, Stunning. unbelievable, it's, right? Uh... Five years later, both courses came back arguably better than ever. Near Kananaskis' fabulous 36-hole spot or a handful of other top-notch courses known the world over, not just across Canada. Less than an hour from Kananaskis sits the Fairmont Banff Springs. Very much worth the drive, the Banff Springs golf course is constantly ranked as one of the top five in the country, and it's easy to see why. The par 3 fourth at the Fairmont Banff Springs golf course is nicknamed the Devil's Cauldron. It's about 190 yards from the back tees. And this Stanley Thompson gem, it might be the most iconic par three in all of Canada. Well, that's a fairway finder. Can use that one all day. Back in Canmore, there are two excellent layouts that are both feasts for the senses. Silvertip Golf Course has amazing views of the Three Sisters Mountains, plus really engaging topography that was used to perfection by renowned designer Les Ferber. Ooh. 
That was pretty good. I think I still like the views better though. Stewart Creek Golf and Country Club keeps you on your toes with extraordinary vistas and holes sculpted into a Rocky Mountain landscape. So there's 200 feet of elevation here at Stewart Creek Golf Club, 65 feet here on the par 5 18th. I'm a little over the green, but I still got a chip and a chance for an eagle to end my day. That's gonna be pin high. Nice little birdie to finish. And this view, I'll take it. While at Stewart Creek, I ran into Chef Tracy Little, who runs Tapas Restaurant in downtown Canmore. Chef Tracy forages for greens near, well, the greens of Stewart Creek. Her hand-picked plants often appear on her menu that very same night. It looks like basil? Peas. Peas? Yeah, so it's from the pea family. It's a little woody. <laughs> but that pea flavor, eh? Okay, that tastes like uh, fresh picked, like a snap pea. Yes, almost. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's With cool. a side of wood. <laughs> <laughs> Tapas is serving up locally inspired small plates that are vibrant and fresh, and she has a big time focus on creating all things in house. It's a nice spot to unwind after a day of golf. About eight years ago, I went to work at a fly fishing lodge and having the groceries flown up 800 kilometers, we became very dependent on what grew around us in that area. And I realized then that sharing that experience with the customers was one of the most important things to me, so. Oh yeah, that tastes way better off the plate than it did off the forest. The golf in the Canadian Rockies is second to none, but the area has a ton of other outdoor activities that let you take advantage of the setting especially if you need a break from the course. I think what brings most people to Kananaskis is the wide open trails, the great views, and the awesome people. We get visitors from all over the world, but this is a favorite for Albertans and locals. But after all that exercise, a person just wants to relax. Certainly whether that's at an award-winning spa, a secret bar hidden inside a castle-like hotel, or with a local beer. That's fresh. Grizzly Paw Brewing Company uses water from the Canmore Reservoir to make its beers and sodas. It's a family-run business that's been around for 25 years. After my time outside the city, I ventured back into Calgary before flying out. But there was still one question about something specific to Alberta that was left unanswered. A good steak is a perfect trip-ending treat, but I was really wondering what made Alberta's beef so special. Thankfully, I chatted with Chef Connie D'Souza. She and partner John have been in business together for nearly 20 years, and they're showing no signs of slowing down with new restaurants popping up throughout Calgary's downtown area. I met the chefs at their flagship spot, the Charcut Roast House. It's basically like what they eat is really what produces the, the flavor in, in the beef. What do and they eat? Well, it's, they, it's grass. I mean, they eat all different types of natural foraged grasses that are, are grown here and that are meant for this terroir. They're not, you know, force-fed a natural diet where you sometimes find more of the commodity farmed beef. It's a natural diet, grass-fed. And not only is it produce better tasting meat, but it also is the right thing to do. Now, there are no shortage of ranches that supply local restaurants and shops with homegrown cattle. Charcut uses Gemstone Ranch, for example. And after a couple rounds of some of the best golf in the country, a celebratory cut was definitely in order. So I came to the Canadian Rockies to play some of Canada's most picturesque courses, and I absolutely did just that. But I also learned so much about what makes Alberta well, Alberta. And I think Canadian country superstar Paul Brandt said it best in his massive hit song called Alberta Bound. In this area of Canada, it's a little piece of heaven that I found. I could get used to this.